Morning guys, Nick from Evolve Skateboards here. Um, this morning we're here to show you how to narrow down and diagnose a potential motor fault. So if you're riding along and you notice one of your motors or your wheel isn't spinning, um, this is our diagnosis to isolate it to either a motor fault or a motor controller. So what we're going to be doing is removing the battery case on top of the board here and we're going to be swapping over the motor connectors, that's power and hall sensor connectors, and this will isolate for us whether it's a motor fault or a motor controller. For this, the tools you're going to need are these two Allen keys out of your Evolve toolkit. If you have a carbon board, you're going to want the 2.5mm Allen key, which is this little one here. That will undo the battery case screws for the carbon. If you have a bamboo board, you're going to want this Allen key, which has a 1 8 Allen key bit on the end of it. Alternatively, you can use a drill with a 1 8 bit if you have a bamboo, or a drill with a 2.5mm Allen key bit if you have the carbon. So you'll need the small Allen key from your toolkit. This will undo the screws on the top of the deck for you. For this exercise, we're gonna be using the drill just to speed things up a little bit. Battery case comes off, and you now have exposed the battery, and the motor controller, and all the wiring. Okay, so from here, we can now see the motor connectors at the back. Power connectors, which are these thick yellow ones. Um, we have the hall sensor connector, so we have hall 1 and hall 2, that's motor 1 and motor 2. So from here, what we need to do is swap over these power connectors and these hall sensor connectors. These yellow ones, simply pull apart, as such. Now the hall sensor connectors, down here, have very thin wires. What we need to do is be very careful when we're pulling these out. A trick is you can use your Allen key from your toolkit to lift up the clip underneath the connector and they come out like that. So do that for both of them. Okay, so you have both your hall sensor connectors and your power connectors disconnected. Now what we need to do is swap them over to the opposite sides. So now that we've swapped the cables over from the motors, if before the exercise your right motor was not working, if it was a motor fault, that same motor would not be working still. If it's a motor controller fault, the left motor would now not be working because it is now using the output from that motor controller for initially the right motor. If you lift the board up in the air and test them, because both these motors are fine, as you can see, they're both operating. However, because they're receiving the opposite signals, both from the power and the hall sensors, the motors are operating in reverse.